Hey guys, this is Casey with Sincerely Casey, and thank you so much for returning to my YouTube channel. Um, if this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, I'm a lifestyle blogger who goes through clothes and different adventures and traveling and things like that. So if you are into that too, welcome. I hope that you enjoy following along with me. Um, today what we're going to do is do an unboxing video for my six month of Dia & Co style box. So we just got one in the mail here. We have five days to review our pieces. So um, I'm going to go ahead and jump in. have been here before you know the drill if you already know what Dia & Co is go ahead and skip forward to the next meaty part of the video um, if this is your first time here or have never heard of Dia & Co uh, here's what it is it's a basically a subscription box that you pay $20 a month um, to have a professional stylist come in and basically style your wardrobe so they'll select five custom pieces for you uh, you'll then have five days to try them on they're gonna mail them directly to your house uh, you start your five-day try on and then you're gonna send back what you don't like and you're gonna keep what you like and they're gonna bill you for the pieces that you enjoy um, anything else they'll just send you a next box next month and you guys will get another try um, the $20 a month styling fee that you pay will actually go towards the purchase of anything that you purchase from your box so if you end up like in peace um, it's kind of like getting $20 off even though kind of you've already paid for it but you're paying for the service um, and then they're gonna actually send you in your box a posted envelope so you guys can actually just stuff back what you don't want in here and drop it in the mail so it's super easy um, also there is a perk if you end up liking all five pieces in your box and end up buying all five pieces then you actually get 25% off the entire box so there's a little room there for some mega discounts if you really really enjoy uh, what your stylist did for you um, this month my stylist was Olivia again she always slam dunks with my style she gets it right on the head every single time so I'm excited to see what she's packed in here this time um, I did tell her last video or last Last unboxing that I wanted to see more fall pieces since it's finally getting you know that time of year so I'm, um, I do see some darker colors in here so let's go ahead and jump in um, all right so the first piece that we're gonna go look at today is called uh, a purline studded bag in black I think it's just regular Dia and Co brand it's just got their tag on it but look how cute you guys I love the studding, I love the little tassels here. Um, I love that there's hidden pockets. You guys know that I love pockets here, so. Oh my God, is this a fake pocket? It's fake, oh my God, I'm so sad. All right, and it's stuck, but here we go. This one though, that one's real. Okay, good, so it's not a total fake out. I was really disappointed for a second. Um, looks like it has a really long uh, strap, which is good. Um, anytime you get a crossbody bag for a plus size body, you need the strap to be longer than normal. So um, enjoying seeing this in here. I do have a bag that's similar, um, but this got a very fall flare. It's very trendy. So looking forward to uh, styling that for you guys a little bit later on. Um, the next piece that they sent me is by Mary Sky, and it's called a Juno Faux Wrap Dress, and it's in forest green. Oh my God, right off the jump, I am loving the texture of it. It is fuzzy it's almost like velvety um, it's obviously not velvet otherwise it would be much 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 heavier than this um, but it's kind of fuzzy like velvet so it's a floral um, it is a faux wrap so like she said it's also sleeveless which is nice you can layer it a little bit um, also has a cute little tie detail Ugh, I just really love how soft it is it feels it really does feel like it feels like velvet it's also a bit stretchy um, but it's also not super thick like velvet so it's actually seems like it would be decent to layer uh, with leggings maybe some boots um, very cute I could see this a very like boho chic kind of style or maybe just like a toned down winter sort of thing I don't know I could see this like being as my birthday dress or whatever in December so we'll see all right the next piece um is a piece by Rachel by Rachel Roy it says I don't know Rachel by Rachel Roy um and it's called the Ingrid kimono top it's in black and purple uh let's take a look there oh that's cute I love the neckline um the cut of the the shirt itself is very boxy so I'm not sure how flattering that will be but I love how 
the front here. Let me see if I can capture that for you guys. The front is just a V-neck with a high collar here. And then in the back, it actually comes up just as high, but there's a slit and then like a little button detail with like some studs. It's super cute. Um, I like the sleeves. It seems like they're not gonna be too hard to fit my fat arm into. You guys know like when it hugs your arm, I hate that. Um, so, but it looks pretty cute. It does look uh, like it's got a built-in lining. I don't think they're separate. Oh yeah, they are. So two different things, a lining on the inside so it's not see-through. Um, I really like that knot detail. I'm really a fan of the neckline. So we'll see what it looks like when it's on. Um, the next piece is by East Adeline. It's called the Imogen Ruffle Elbow Sleeve Top in red. Let's take a look at that guy. My first impression right off the jump is this fabric is gonna wrinkle really easily and it's also super thin. So um, you're gonna be able to see your bra or you have to have a really smooth bra to not see it under this, but it does also feel very flowy and very like slinky so it's not going to stick to you either um not sure if i'm a fan of the ruffle just yet off the bat i don't think i am but on you never really know it could change um but i do like the neckline it's simple and it's not going to choke you because it's not quite like all the way up like a t-shirt would be it kind of scoops a little bit but not too much um but this would be a cute layering piece especially for the winter being that it's red so I'll give it a shot. I won't, I won't say no to it until I actually put it on. Um, and then the last piece that we're going to see is a piece by RWN by Rowan or Rowan. I don't know how to say it. I'm so sorry. Um, the last, it, it's called though the Luxor coated legging with moto paneling, um, in black. So what it looks like is basically just pants with like moto patches. Um, it's very edgy. I'm not sure if it's exactly my style. Um, but you know, when I was living in Chicago, I could totally see myself wearing this here in Texas. I'm not sure people would go for it, but I do like it. Um, I'm excited to put it on and it looks like it's going to fit curvy really well, which is good. Um, it does have back pockets. It does have front pockets, which is great. Um, and then it seems like it's a bit stretchy, so I don't think it'll be too tight and hopefully that means it also won't get too saggy. So, uh, let me try these on for you. I'm going to actually split the screen so you guys have already seen what they look like on. Um, but now that you've seen all five pieces, let me know what, what, um, items you liked and which ones you didn't like. Um, let me know in the comments if you want to see more content like this in the future from me, please subscribe to my channel. Um, and make sure you tap the little bell too so you guys get notifications when my new videos come out. Um, also, thank you guys for being so patient for me to come back. I know that I've taken a quick little break, like five weeks off. So I appreciate your patience. Um, I just moved apartments. So there's been a lot going on in my personal life, but um, I am going to also take you guys on the journey of transforming my apartment into uh, somebody who used to live in a two bedroom apartment that had most of their furniture supplied by their roommate to now living in a one bedroom apartment. And I get to literally make it my bohemian paradise. So if you're into that sort of thing, stay tuned to my channel. There will be more content like that coming soon. Also, if you guys don't already follow me on Instagram, what the heck are you waiting for? <laughs> I'm at Sincerely Casey Morgan um, on Instagram. I also have a Facebook group if you guys want to join it and talk to each other or whatever you guys want to do. Let me start over. This is a uh, blah, blah, blah.